Yo, what up and welcome to the cupboard. I've got Vector, which has just come out. So let's check out my first robot. As ever, links will be down in the description if you're after one. Kaboom, and here it is. I've been so excited to actually get this here. This is made by Anki, and if you're not already aware, they did the Cosmos, which is kind of the same thing, but it was in white, but not as uh, clever as this. So just to have a quick look around the box, fairly standard. You get Android and Google apps here. It rolls around, you've got some AI. You can talk to it, it can take pictures, blah, blah, blah. As ever, Links will be down in the description box if you're after one of these as well. So we'll get that open there and slide this up. Lift this up and see what we have. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's a little bit bigger than what I expected, to be honest. So let's lift him out. Vector looks pretty cool. You got a little camera on the front there. I believe that's a 720p camera. Kind of forklift-like tank tracks. So we'll have a look at him in just a second. Got some gold accents as well. We get a cube with him. I believe this is to interact with him, but I'm not quite sure what the purpose of the cube is. But yeah, I knew we were going to get something in terms of a cube with him. This is just plastic filler, I guess. And this is Vector's home dock, where he can, when it's running low on charge, he knows he can go back to this and charge himself up like every self-respecting robot should know how to charge himself. So we'll leave that to one side. Along the back here, we've got a standard USB-A type cable. We get some silica gel packets here. That's just some foam. And we get some reading material here. There we go. So you can leave those in there. A quick start guide here, which is pretty thick. And we've got some, looks like some product information in various languages, health and safety, warranty, that kind of stuff, I guess. I've just plugged in the charger here. Make sure you use a five volt, one amp charger. Otherwise, Vector here is gonna charge up very, very slowly. So getting onto the little fella himself. You've got the, the camera there. You've got some infrared sensors along the front here, a little display for him to show his eyes. You've got four directional microphones here so you can get a feel for where you are and where you're speaking to him from. You've got the power button along the top there and some touch sensors along this gold section here. Now, that seems to be the gist of him. Obviously, here are the tank tracks and where he charges up from. Still no idea. I'm going to place him on his charge pad there, see if he wakes up on his own. But still no idea what this cube thing does. I'll take out this section for the battery inside. And, yeah, very unique way of... Whoa. He moved. I can see the lights on the top there are turned on or symbolizing that he's charging. So you can see there three, two, one charging. And he's saying go to Anki.com Vector. I'm going to go to Vector Robot. I haven't signed in before. This is the very first time. Let's go. We'll go to US. No, we'll go to GB English. Uh, continue. And pull cube tab, which I've already done. Pull plug-in charger, which I've already done. I don't have a login, so I'm going to sign up. And let's put in my data book. Okay, continue there. Just enter my email address. So now for the password. Usage data statistics. Yeah, why not? To create your Anki account, select your email communication preference and set up. Sign up. An activation email was sent too. So I've got an activation email here. So I'm just going to hit activate account. That looks like it's now active. So I'm just going to jump back to the application. I'm glad that app didn't make me sign in again actually on the app. That's pretty cool. Vector uh, works over Wi-Fi, so it needs a 2.4 gigahertz frequency uh, Wi-Fi connection. So if you're running 5 gigahertz only, you're going to have to mess around with your router or configure the router so it can use 2.4 gigahertz as well. Just putting that out there. So if you're like me and you've been sitting here thinking, why isn't it connecting? Turn your Bluetooth off and then turn it back on again. The Vector app uses Bluetooth to find your robot. Location permissions is needed to access your device. Tap below when asked for this. So we'll hit continue there. 
and it wants to know the location so we'll hit allow there we go that took another 30 seconds or so after i turned the bluetooth on and then i paired it with the cube so it's found vector and we'll hit connect and it's got vector vector needs to pair with your device via bluetooth to start pairing place vector on its uh, his charger and quickly press the button on his back twice Ooh. There we go. You gotta be a little bit forceful there. It's the actual power button you gotta press twice. And it says vector and it gives you some keys on his screen there. If I do seven, one, two, three, eight, zero, hit connect. Vector is now connected over Bluetooth. Yo! So it says Vector is about to search for available Wi Fi networks. Before he starts, make sure that Vector is near your Wi Fi access point, then tap Find Networks to start his scan. So we'll hit Find Networks. You can see he's searching away there and he's found one here. So if I this is my 2.4 gigahertz Wi Fi access point here, so I'll just enter the password. So there we go, I'm going to hit Join Network and it says Connecting Vector to Wi Fi. There we go. Tap continue to update Vector to the latest version. Depending on network conditions, downloading this update may take some time. So continue. So Vector's downloaded and he's doing a restart as you can see here, saying it's got about 15 seconds left. Whoop. He's come alive. So the first time he's moved, his head was down and then back up again. Presuming that says he's downloading an update from my phone here and it shouldn't take too long so i think the downloading process took about four and a half minutes or so so he's done a restart the phone's just trying to find him again after it's done the restart there we go so it says uh, it's gone through the reboot this is a new version that is running tap continue to complete setting up your new vector we hit continue here and it gives us uh, what is set to time zone europe london is fine let's see what else is in there whoa there's lots of options there so should be plenty so if i go back and we want it to celsius we'll go to distance in centimeters clock to be 24 hours because that's how i roll click continue and let's make sure vector is ready to go so cube we'll pull the tab out battery is going cloud connectivity he's now ready click continue so does that mean if i hit continue it's going to fly out of the the dock vector is now registered with the anki account to connect to vector from another device download the app and log in using it that's fine yeah vector is ready to wake up tap start and look at vector but let's hit start oh so look at him as if a <laughs> as if he's a baby and you gotta look at him when he wakes up whoa He's about to go absolutely mental on this cube, but before he does, uh, just show you, I was wondering if this connects via Bluetooth to uh, Vector here, then how does he actually charge this thing? And there's no port or nothing that I can see here. Well, there's a, I believe a AAA battery or a AA battery inside here. So if you open that, uh, unscrew this Phillips head screw here, this thing pops off and you can change the battery inside. But yeah, hey Vector. You want your cube now it would be cool if you can interact with other smart home devices as well but i'll give you more information as i play with this device to get to grips with what you can and can't do so expect more content from a vector here on this channel very very soon indeed thanks for watching have a wicked day and i'll see you next time